Oscar goes to. So 2019, give me a Best Picture nomination. Maybe it's just something you're pulling for. It doesn't have to be a lock to, be, to have, have happen. Feels, feels almost certain that Widows will be there, which mm -hmm. is Steve McQueen's new movie that's coming out in November that is about um, a series of Widows starring Viola Davis. Um, it's, it's sort of a movie that's by the right studio, that's by the right filmmaker who has the pedigree. It's, it will fit very neatly into what has been happening in Hollywood over the course of the last six months because it is, it is a revenge story as well. Um, and McQueen is a total, is a master at acknowledged as such, so I wouldn't be shocked if it showed up there. Don't we, and you know this, of course, far better than I do, but don't we have movies this year, new movies from the darlings of last year? Don't we have a new Barry Jenkins movie in Beale Street? Mm -hmm. We do. And Damien Chazelle's First Man, will that be this year? October. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be interesting to see. That was one you were really yeah, interested in. Yeah, do you know who's starring in First Man? Yeah, I do, but I'd l rather hear you say it's it. Two actors named Ryan Gosling and Claire Foy. It is the year of Claire Foy. Wow. I, I mean, it's been the year of Claire Foy for many years, but I'm extreme, I'm looking forward to Bow that to one. to the crown. Yeah, I also love a 60s space movie, so. Has I'm anything, ready. Sean, has anything emerged from, I guess we've only had some Sundance with other um, film festivals to come. Has anything emerged? Because the weird thing about the way this works is this time last year, I guess Lady Bird hadn't premiered yet, but no. so obviously there are right. movies that will be nominated that we don't know about, but has anything already start, started to catch fire? The only one that I can really think of is Sorry to Bother You, which is directed by Boots Riley, who is the MC yeah. of The Coup, mm -hmm. uh, st which sure. stars Lakeith Stanfield and, and had a, a really warm reception it's funded by Annapurna and is rolling out. and. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of positive conversation about that. Sundance isn't quite the, even though Get Out and Call Me By Your Name both premiered there, is not quite the Oscar star maker that it once mm -hmm. was, though. And so this Wh year, was that especially, a Whiplash kind of came out of Sundance a couple years ago, but that's but one of the last ones that really, like, went, went wire to wire, right? Yeah, I mean, like I said, Call Me By Your yeah. Name, the, the narrative started instantaneously, mm -hmm. even more so than the Get Out narrative. I feel like when people saw Chalamet, they were like, that kid, best actor, mm -hmm. instantaneously. But there, there are not very many films this year. I'm sure there will be several documentaries that are up for it. One thing that's worth talking about, and I, you know, I, I'm going to remain agnostic as to whether Black Panther will get a nomination mm -hmm. or even if it deserves it, but along with Get Out, there is an increasing attention to the way that movies can elevate and excite and exhilarate people beyond like, oh, I can't, what, what's Thor going to do with only one eye? You know what I mean? Like some sense of collective, <laughs> sure. like we are all seeing this movie, we're going to go see it and we're going to talk about it and it's going to engage us. And I think it's really worth noting that even though Get Out didn't win, we are certainly talking about it more now and we're going to be talking about it more going forward than The Post, which is fine. The sure. Post is a fine yeah. film, but The Post is Oscar bait mm. and designed as such and sold as such and presented as such. And it was a complete afterthought tonight, which again, I don't mean any disrespect to it as a movie, but it's, I do think there might be some trend shifting there in terms of what we talk about as an Oscar movie and what we look to as a probable Oscar yeah. movie. The, uh, the ones that I would do, was just going to shout out, I was going to say that I think we might see some Brad Pitt next year. Um, Ad Astra, which is a film by James right. Gray, it's currently shooting, or I think it's wrapping up now. And you know, typically, in the last couple of years, there's been a slot for a uh, prestige space movie, whether it's Gravity, whether it's The Martian. This, obviously, will probably be a little artier than those two, or maybe a little bit more ponderous, but Brad Pitt as a spaceman, directed by James Gray, I'm there. He's also, I'm, I don't know if this is coming out next year, or this year. Oh, the Once Upon a Time in Tarantino. Hollywood. Is that 19? Mm -hmm. Unclear. Okay, wow. so we might have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood by the end of the year as well. So that's a new Quentin Tarantino film with Leonardo DiCaprio. Hidden to caps. Yeah, so wow. we'll see. I don't know. What a time. What a time. <laughs>